Let's go ahead and get real here. We begin with our week two. Well, week one, if we're going to be sure. really technical. <laughs> Nine over time game of the week. A non-district matchup featuring two teams expected to have great seasons uh, this season. It's Del Valle taking on Franklin. Del Valle, come, this is their season opener. Meanwhile, Franklin dominated Chapin last game out. And uh, Del Valle wasted no time getting on the board. Well, it took him until the second quarter. It's Jake Fetty to Ryu Nunez. Del Valle takes a 7-0 lead after that touchdown, so Devaya looking in control. Now Franklin will look to respond, but the Cougars try to keep this drive going up the field, but Del Valle's defense sacks Lucas Garza, a huge play there to stop the Cougars. Later in the second quarter, it's Del Valle's Diego Frosto who nails a 32-yard field goal. Del Valle going up 10-0 at the half, and this is where things get interesting. Let's go into the second half now. Del Valle up 10 to 7. Fetty, 49 yard touchdown run here. Del Valle extends the lead 17 to 7. Now, Jason, Fetty is a star player last year and looking like he's going to be this year. What are your overall thoughts of him? That is Jake Fetty. He's such an impact player. He sets the tone for that team. That, that's why he's ranked top uh, 13 in the nation. Jake Fetty. Speaking of star players, Jason, Manny Fuller right there with the touchdown. Yeah. Just loaded with two of the best players in the city. You talked to Manny Fuller and Jake Fetty yet to be decided. But uh, two star players, Del Valle takes home a 24-14 win over Franklin in our nine overtime game of the week. Let's sing, send things over down to Jesus Baltazar, who is live with Del Valle head coach Rudy Contreras. And I believe Mr. Jake Fetty. Sam, this game was won in the trenches as both sides expected, but Del Valle has gone on the road and won this game 24-14. I'm joined now by Del Valle head football coach Rudy Contreras. Coach, um, you guys weren't able to kick off your season last week due to those weather delays. Um, tell me, how did you feel coming out into this game after that first drive and then getting things going? Well, like you just mentioned, it was our first game, you know, so we started off a little rocky. Uh, but then you got guys like Jake Fetty and then guys on the defensive side of the ball that, that really came together. Uh, we hit some adversity early on, but it just showed what kind of team we are. Uh, they came together and found a way to pull it off at the end. Coach, you guys kept the lead throughout the game. It was a good game, but ultimately you guys never let go of that lead. Tell me, what was the key to that? Well, you know what? All week we heard that we have guys that can make plays, but we're not physical. Uh, and we, run, we really wanted to come out here and, and showcase that, and, and we did. Both sides of the ball, just extremely proud of every single one of our guys. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate that. Congrats. I'm joined now by quarterback Jake Fetty from Del Valle. Jake, like I asked, Coach, um, you guys weren't able to play last week. You mentioned earlier in the week that you guys were probably going to be rusty at the start. Tell me, take me through that process of getting over that rust in the first quarter and then ultimately finding the end zone. You know, um, coming in coming into week two without a game, that's rough, you know. Um, but but the team strung together. Our offense, we, we didn't get what we wanted in the first quarter. But when you have a defense like we do who can stop people and make plays, it really helps our offense. Lastly, I want to ask you next week, you guys go into district play officially. Uh, what are your expectations heading into that week after scoring a touchdown tonight? You know, um, Every, every week's a big week, you know. You can't take anyone light. You can't play down to anyone. So we got to do what we got to do to make sure we win district and get the playoff seating we want. Jake, thank you. Congrats. And yes, sir. Thank you. Of course, Sam Kelly, we'll, head it, uh, we'll give it back to you guys. Awesome. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, Del Valle, again, heading into this week, this is their first game of the season. Mm -hmm. Their game against Malwood last week was canceled. Right. Jason, how impressive was this for you know, Del Valle to come out uh, basically off the couch and uh, put on a performance like that? Yeah, so there's a lot of teams that, you know, that go out and schedule an easy game you know, for their first game. Del Valle <laughs> right. did not. You know, they, <laughs> they did face one of the top teams here in the city. So uh, hats off to them, hats off to Rudy Contreras um, and that Del Valle team. Yeah, mm -hmm. again, Del Valle, like Jesus mentioned, they'll be starting up district plate next week. So it's going to long road ahead of them, yep. but Del Valle, one of the favorites to win that district.